good day. I'm Christy Vale R. Miranda from BSN1C and I am here to check the vital signs of the patient which includes the temperature, the respiratory rate, pulse rate, and then the blood pressure. Purposes of taking the temperature is to assess body temperature through axillary route, then establish baseline data for subsequent evaluation, then to determine and monitor changes in body temperature. Equipments or materials, axillary temperature, antiseptic wipes or cotton with alcohol, then notepad and pen. Procedure, assessment. Identify the client and explain the procedure to the client. Hello sir, good day. I'm Nurse Miranda, your nurse for today. Can I ask your name? No? Okay, thank you sir. Thank you. Um, today, I will check your vital sign and I need your cooperation. It is fine with you. Yes. Okay, thank you sir. Then, planning, perform hand hygiene. Then, place the client in appropriate position. Implementation, clean the thermometer by wiping with antiseptic or cotton ball with alcohol from the top, top tip that will come in contact with the patient to the area where you hold it. Then, place the thermometer to the axillary of the patient. And now, sir, I will, I will place into your axillary. Place the hand across the chest. Then, leave the thermometer in place and wait for the appropriate amount of time. Electronic thermometer will indicate that, that the reading is completed through three light or tone. Then remove the temperature and read the, the, the result. Your temperature is 34.9 and it is normal. Then disinfect the thermometer. From the areas where you hold it to the tip that came in the contact with the patient and return into the storage location. Then, record the temperature reading in your notepad. Perform hand hygiene. Evaluation. Evaluate temperature measurement in relation to baseline data and normal range for client. Then, articles used are cleansed aseptically and prevented transfer of microorganism from one person to another. Documentation. Document the temperature in the client's record. For taking pulse and respiratory rate, the purposes are to acquire baseline data to assess and monitor abnormalities in pulses and respiration, then to assess and evaluate pulses respiration after administration of certain medication, then to monitor clients as, read, as risk of alteration. Equipments or materials, watch with second hand, then notepad with 
notepad and pen. Procedure, assessment, identify the client, explain the procedure to the client. And now, sir, I'm going to check the, your pulse rate and respiratory rate. Then, planning, perform hand hygiene. Then, ensure the privacy of the client. Radial pulse, place the client in supine position or in comfortable position with his arm alongside with the, with the wrist extended and the palm of the hand facing downward. Then, place the index, middle, and the ring finger with his arm along the radial artery and press gently against the radius. Apply and a pressure so that the glands pulsating artery can be distinctly felt. Then, using your second second hand watch, count the number of pulsation felt on the glands artery for one full minute. Then, record the pulse rate in your record pa pad. Respiratory rate. While fingertips is still in place, observe the client respiration and count the cycle for one full minute. Then, record on your notepad. Relay result, PR and RR to client and records data indicating rhythm and volume. Your pulse rate is 80 beats per minute and respiratory, respiratory rate is 16 beats per minute. And now, perform hand hygiene. For evaluation, determine if pulse and respiratory rate are within normal limits and in relation to baseline data, then documentation, document any pertinence assessment data, note for irregularities in rate and rhythm, depth and volume of respiration and pulses respectively, then chart and report any complaint. For taking the blood pressure for process, to obtain baseline measure of arterial blood pressure for subsequent evaluation, then to determine hemodynamic status, to identify and monitor blood pressure and changes resulting from a disease process and medical therapy, then equipments or materials, sphygmometer with appropriate cap size, then stethoscope, notepad, and pen. 
procedure, assessment, identify the client, and explain the procedure to the client, ask a client appropriate question that may affect the result, obtain baseline information. And now, sir, I'm going to check your blood pressure to know it is no, it is in normal range or not. But before that, let me ask you if how old are you? 16. Okay, sir. In your age, have you experienced headache, dizziness, difficult breathing? No. Okay, sir. Thank you. Then planning, wash hands. Then, assemble all equipments or materials to be used, placing them in working area. For implementation, instruct client to assume comfortable position, forearm supported at the level of the heart and palm of the hand ward. Then, roll up sleeves to expose the brachial area. Then, the cup is placed with inflatable bag. Center over the brachial artery. Two to three finger breaths above the antecubial fossa. Then, palpate the brachial artery with the finger, index, and middle finger. Close the bud on the pump by, you, by turning to the knob clockwise. Pump the pump until no brachial pulse left. Then, allow 1 to 2 minutes interval before the next, next BP taking. For the status quo, place the status quo ear face in position where the tips pointing outward. Then, palpate the brachial pulse and place the diaphragm of the status quo over the brachial artery. Then inflate the cuff until the sphygmometer raises 30 mm Hg above anticipated systolic pressure.
then release air ev ev evenly and gradually nothing the first and the sound heard then correct that deter correctly determine BP relay result to the client your blood pressure is 120 over 80 and it is normal for your age then perform after care of materials used record the record the blood pressure of the patient then wash hands Evaluation. Evaluate blood pressure in relation to baseline data, normal range for age, then documentation. Document blood pressure. Note and report any significant change in BP. Thank you.